Ice Cube went on to a podcast called Full Send to talk about a whole host of things and the subject of black people and the Democratic Party and the Republican Party came up and one of the hosts asked him, do black people have a stigma against the Republican Party? And Ice Cube replied this. I don't know what's going on in the African American community when it comes to that. I mean, black people have supported Democrats overwhelmingly for 50, 60 years and nothing has changed. So something's gotta change. Well, some site went on to lie on Ice Cube and a Negro on Twitter reposted that and basically lied on Ice Cube as well by saying this. Ice Cube only shows up every four years to tell black people to vote for Republicans who openly suppressing the black vote, whitewashing and banning black history and killing diversity, equity and inclusion program that support black folks hard pass. Now that was posted by leading report who lied and said breaking Hollywood star Ice Cube says black Americans should ditch the Democrat party. And that's not what he said. He says something's got to change, right? So he flat out did not say ditch the Democratic Party, which a lot of people have said, right? So it's not a secret, but Ice Cube didn't say that. So Ice Cube went on to say this to uh, John, who is a self-proclaimed Q for life. I never told your black who to vote for, so stop lying and get that clickbait out your mouth. And so he's basically saying, listen, don't start y'all stuff, black people, because as we know, black people took Ice Cube through it accused him of supporting Trump when in essence he had a conversation with the Trump administration and the potential at that time Biden administration with his contract with black America saying hey these are the things that we as black people in America need from your administration well the Biden administration who was not president at the time says we'll come back when we get in the office and we'll have a conversation then now, Ice Cube did say the Democrats were like, well, we agree with 90% of what's in the contract, but again, come back. But the Trump administration did have a conversation with Ice Cube. And of course, you know, Negroes who don't think for themselves ran around demonizing Ice Cube and all kind of stuff saying, oh, he's a Trump supporter and all this other stuff when he was really just asking us to think about it. Stop giving your vote to a party who is not doing anything for you. And as we can see how that panned out, the Democrats have done nothing for black people specifically, regardless of what this Negro John has said, the self-proclaimed uh, Q has said that they're doing all these inclusion and diversity things for black people. They're not doing that. They're doing that for everybody else. And so Ice Cube was asked, will you get involved in 2024? He says, no, nah, not nah, really. My contract with black America is there if anybody wants to look at it, but I've done my job. I'm going to do what I do in the world of Ice Cube, right? And I don't blame them because it's like, when you try to wake up Negroes, you end up, you know, getting the brunt end of that because uh, let's just keep it a buck. A lot of black people don't want to be uh, awakened from uh, the sleep that we are in. We like being served nothing. We like being told that we're going to get something. Remember Joe Biden, y'all stood by me. I'm going to stand by you. We like being lied to and then we don't do anything about it when that lie proves to be a lie, right? And so I, I agree with Ice Cube. I mean, go do your thing, you know, you try. And, but you won't be the first and you won't be the last because unfortunately a lot of black people like voting for oppression and in 2024 will show up to work and all the other stuff that we do going to fish fries gladly to the polls to vote for more of nothing so anyway y'all tell me what you think of this and for more insightful commentary please subscribe to this channel and my channel the demetri k show here on youtube